everyone. So today I have a Sephora haul and this is the most exciting Sephora haul of all. I said that really weird. Sephora haul. Because I just got back from LA recently and while I was in LA I obviously had to go to Sephora because we don't have Sephora over here in New Zealand and it sucks bad. So my beautiful friend Sona, um, I will link her down below. We did a little bit of a follow me on her channel so I'll link it down below. Go check her out, go subscribe. She's beautiful, talented, amazing. She took me to Sephora and we were there for a really long time. It was so much fun and there was so much stuff and I was just in heaven. I also picked up some stuff for you guys for my 1 million subscriber giveaway which is coming very soon but I'm not going to show you I want it to be a bit of a surprise but I got you some really cool stuff so I hope you guys enjoy what I picked out for you and then of course I also got myself some things so I'm just going to show you what I got because I just dropped something because there's a lot all of the boxes got a little bit screwed up from being in my suitcase they got squashed <laughs> so the first thing I got was another magnificent metal eyeshadow foil eyeshadow thing by Stila I love these I've got a few of them so I decided to pick up a couple more this one here is in the shade Metallic Rose Quartz. And this is what the shade looks like. It's like a really pale kind of, it's almost like a lilac pink silver color. I'm so excited to try this out. I actually didn't swatch this in store because there wasn't a tester. But I saw it in the little picture and I was just like, stuff it. I'm going to get it because I love these. That is so beautiful. I love these. Just like on the inner corner and just things like that. It's just... Heaven in a little jar. By the way, before I move on too much further, I have a makeup look, this makeup look here, um, coming very soon, so keep an eye out. Okay, the next one I got, I have already tried. I am on the fence about it. Like, it looked really, really, really pretty, but it's not as sparkly and foily as the other ones. This is called Metallic Merlot, and it's more of a dark purple kind of brown and purple concoction. As you can see, it's really not as glittery. Um, I really like it, but yeah, it's just not foily. That's how it looks. I mean, when I wore this in LA, I got so many compliments on my eye makeup, but I don't know, I'm on the fence. I think I might use it in a tutorial and see how I go with it. Um, it's definitely not my favorite one, but it looked really good. I guess what I'm trying to say is for the money, you could get a similar kind of cream eyeshadow to this color for a lot cheaper. Next up, I got a couple of lipsticks from the Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Collection. And I have a lot of lipsticks to show you today. You guys know I collect lipstick. Lipstick's like my favorite thing on earth, so I did pick up quite a few. Um, so yeah, I got a couple of these to try. This first one here is called Fly High. The packaging looks like this. And then eh, this is the color. It's kind of like a muted lilac kind of pink color. And then the other one I got is called Be Free. And I have the lip gloss version of this color here and I love it. It's like the perfect nude. So I hope this is similar. It's just like a really pretty beige nude color. It's really beautiful. Okay, next I got a few of the Makeup Forever Rouge Artist Intense and Rouge Artist Natural lipsticks. And I've already got a couple of the intense ones and I really like them. So I decided to pick up another. This one here is in the shade 39. It's just like the perfect kind of bright orangey coral color. It's so pretty and right up my alley. I love the packaging of these as well. It's just nice and small and sleek. And then a couple of the naturals. I haven't tried these before. This one is in the shade 41. The packaging is different to these ones too. I really like how it says Makeup Forever around the cap. Um, this is like a peachy orange, but it comes off quite sheer. Um, not super sheer, just like quite a natural kind of texture, if that makes any sense, which I guess is why it's called the natural line. And then I also got N10, which is more of a kind of like a natural pinky kind of tone. This swatch is amazing, so I'm really excited to wear this. I've got a lip gloss by Marc Jacobs, but this is more pigmented, hence lip lacquer. And it's like a shimmery kind of brownish nude color. It's so pretty, so I'm so excited to wear this. It's actually quite different to a lot of things that I own already, so I'm excited to see like what kind of makeup looks I can pair up with this. I think it'll be really cool, like I really like that color. I got a couple of Bite lip glosses because I saw Samantha, you know, Better Lash Samantha. She was raving about one of these. I think it was the peach one. So I decided to get a couple. I do have a few bite lipsticks, but I don't really use them very often. I have no idea why. I think it's just the colors. Like, they're not typical Shannon colors, but I really love the formula. So I thought I would pick these up because the colors are like amazing. This is peach. This is like totally me. Like, you guys would know that. I love 
the color of this. It's perfect. It's the most perfect colored lip gloss ever. I love it. And then I got one other and this is called Rambutan. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not 100% sure. And this is more of like a nude pink. So obviously something that I would reach for a lot as well. So yeah, I thought I would just try a couple of safe colors um, and hopefully I love them and we'll be able to buy like a bunch of crazy colors later on. I also got a NARS eyeshadow because I just saw it and I swatched it and I was just like, you know what? I'm doing it. It really caught my eye. This is in the shade Persia, I think. Yeah, it's in the shade Persia and basically it is just a really bright, rusty kind of orange. I just love the color. It's like quite a deep orange. It's like, I feel like it's something that I would already own, but it's really not because every orange I own is so bright and I'm quite yellow based, but this one is just like, it's almost got like a brown kind of undertone to it. It's really strange and it's just really deep and beautiful. So I cannot wait to use this. I really want to do like an orange eye tutorial or something crazy. I got a couple of the Buxom lip creams. I actually already own this one. It's called Creamsicle and I wear it a lot. I don't know if it's my favorite lip gloss, but it's definitely up there with my favorites. So I thought I would just buy another one now for a backup and just keep it in a safe, dark place until I need it because... Yeah, I would just be really upset if they discontinued it or something. So just to be safe, gives me a little backup. And I also got another um, shade to try. This is called Pink Lady. I love it. It's like a really bright pink. It's kind of like one of those white-based pinks where it's really bright. And I don't know, it's just a great pink. And I wear colors like this a lot. And you could do this over nude. You could do it over a bright pink. You could do it over like a neutral pink. It's just versatile. I already have one of these, so I decided to pick up another color because I really like them. These are the Urban Decay Super Saturated Lip Color High Gloss Pencils. And this is in the shade Love Child. And I love it. It's like the perfect kind of natural, kind of like mauve pink color. It's just really wearable and goes with like every eye makeup look in the world because it's just, I don't know, it's kind of like your lips but better but a little bit more pink. If that makes any sense, I have no idea. I just really like it. I will let you know this is actually one of the things I have bought for the giveaway because I just think this would look good on a lot of different skin tones. Even if you had quite a deep complexion, I feel like it would look really nice because it's not too like white or nude or anything. It's just like that perfect mauvey pink. I got two Kat Von D blushes. I have one of these already and I really like it. I don't think I've used it in a tutorial yet because it's fairly new but while I was in store I just decided to grab a couple more because I really really like them. This one here is called Truth. I love the packaging of these. It's really nice and sturdy. It's matte and also like a gloss kind of finish with roses. It's so cute. I love it. And then it comes with a giant mirror. I love this packaging. This is like perfect packaging. Anyway, this is just the perfect kind of natural. It's not really peach. It's not really pink. It's somewhere in between. Um, quite a like dusty kind of color. It's just beautiful and perfect for just every day. Or if you've got quite a colorful look like what I'm wearing now. It would just look really good because it's not going to take away from the eye makeup or the lip color. It just goes with everything. That's how it looks. I just think it's the perfect, you know, any makeup look kind of color. And then the other one I have here is Essex. This one is just a little bit deeper, a little bit darker, a little bit more vibrant. Um, it's still like that same kind of like neutral pink, but it's definitely a lot darker. So I think this will be perfect for more like a contouring kind of blush, if that makes sense, like really to deepen up my cheeks and... It'll still go with like any kind of makeup look. You could go light handed, heavy handed, and I think this would be like perfect for winter and autumn. So I definitely think both of those shades are quite versatile. I think I'll get quite a lot of wear out of them. And we're almost done. I got a Too Faced lip, what? <laughs> Color drenched lip cream, lip cream lipstick. I have a bunch of these, but I'd never seen this color before, so I picked it up straight away. I was obsessed with it. This is called Coral Fire, and it's like the perfect corally. It's almost like a red, but it's not a red. It's like a daytime wearable red, if that makes sense. Like, this is the kind of shade I would wear during the daytime if I wanted like a deep lip, but didn't want to look too dramatic or bold. It's so wearable and so beautiful and just perfect. So I'm so glad I picked this up. I really do not often go for this kind of color. I don't really know if I've got anything like this in my collection. I am in love. If there is anything in particular you do want to see with any of these products, let me know. Um, otherwise, I'll just kind of pick away and use them in tutorials coming up soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I had so much fun filming this. I have been looking forward to filming this ever since I went shopping. I was like, I have to show you guys, like, ASAP what I got. Oh my gosh, it was like the best day of my life. Not really, but, you know. <laughs>
So thank you so much for watching. I had so much fun in LA. Um, Beautycom was amazing. I met so many of you guys and you were all so lovely and so nice and it was just so much fun meeting you all, meeting you all in real life as well as like YouTubers that I've never met before, like people I've been talking to online. Being able to meet them in real life was just so amazing and it was just so much fun. And a big thank you to my network style hall for sending me over. It was just awesome. So I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And hopefully I'll get to go again like next year and meet some more of you. If you've never been to Beautycon before, I highly suggest it. It was just heaps of fun being able to meet people and the environment was just so awesome. Like it was all about like YouTube and beauty and just all of that. It was just so much fun. So anyway, I'm going to leave you guys to it now. I hope this video wasn't too long and too unbearable. Um, I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will talk to you really soon. Bye! The beauty. So now we just wait for the glue to dry and the eye makeup is complete. So I'm going to do blush and stuff now. If this colour matched, I would actually really like my makeup right now, but it just does not match. Ah, I really like the colours.